I am pretty excited to make this video. At I am the stop sign, currently on my way to, to a Bosch Green Star that is not heating or making hot water. So I'm sure that whatever it is, Bosch is going to be unable to help me and the parts are going to be nowhere to be found. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so me and Peter, and I'm waiting for tech support, are here, but uh, E9 flashing reset, I reset it, and it's operating fine and heating. Uh, turn it on in domestic though, do that Peter. And we get 160 degree water out of this hat. which that seems very, very odd to me. So I'm waiting to get tech support on the phone. I want to get to the bottom of why E9 was there, but the customer had done, uh, or they're doing work on the customer's water lines uh, in the neighborhood. And I'm thinking that the flow through the heat exchanger on the domestic water might not have been enough at the time of it being closed at some point. But uh, I'm gonna have to wait and see. Let's see what Peter's got out of the tap. 134 keeps coming up. Can you keep my hand on you? On the... But we did get over 160 on it the first time we read it. I don't know if that's normal on initial startup, but I don't think so. Like when the domestic hot water is first opened up, but it seems very odd. We will see when we get them on the phone. I'm supposed to be number two in line, so. Hopefully we don't have to wait too long, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it. You could close the water off, Peter. See what happens once the water comes off. It takes a really long time to go back into space heating, but we'll see. Maybe this time it won't. Got both zones calling. Uh, did the flush on the domestic water side when I was here last. There's no ports to do a flush anywhere else. So yeah, we're back in heating, so that was almost... Nope. Flame just went off. Why did that flame turn off? It just seems very odd the way this machine's running. Okay, so right now we are climbing really high in temperature, which is really odd, and it should be turning off way before this. I don't know why it is climbing so slowly and not turning it off in time. 199. It should have turned this flame off way, way long ago. If it, already, if it knows that the temperature is that, it should not have been running the flame. That is super, super odd. Waiting for tech support still, and we're overheating again. Like, why is it shutting the flame off so late? Okay, so we talked about it with Bosch. Ended up moving the supply sensor over here, so it's not just reading the one zone. Now it's reading the system itself before both zones. And our temperature is doing a lot better. We're hitting about 185. This sensor goes off at about 235. Or 245 and we weren't getting near that as one of our limit sensors which would cause the error and same with this sensor same temperature for that and we were only hitting it about 130 degrees down there that's for our foil so with everything operating properly our pressure is staying good and I even checked our pressure with the analog gauge it looks like they're gonna be good to go and doesn't seem like this is gonna be happening again and here's our combustion analysis to make sure that it's burning safely. 27 undiluted, 20 on CO, 5.2 on our oxygen, and 8.86 on our CO2. But uh, that's going to be it. So I'm at another Bosch, a green therm, which I just installed personally with Peter in September. So about three months ago. You can see here water corrosion corrosion this this fitting right here does not hold on secure enough 
it did not have that clip there. I have a bunch of these little clips and I was able to get one that fits on there enough and now it's really on there and it can't, I mean, like you could pull it off if you wanted, but it's not gonna just fall off like the other one did. So hopefully that should fix it. Um, it does provide nice hot water and it is super, super quiet. I will put the cover on so you can hear it. Uh, you wanna hold this view? for service pal so that we have this on file and then could maybe send to Bosch and let them know that that connection isn't sufficient. turning a faucet on so we can hear it start up. Here's our water piping. Um, it goes in at the top, but I couldn't cut above because this is an apartment building and these are the shutoffs for the water. So I had to do it below and then it comes up in copper and it goes into the machine. I was really happy with how the copper turned out and our relief valve, which doesn't go all the way to the ground, but right there. You can see this relief valve port was plugged because we have this one. We really didn't need the flush valves there, but we put them in anyway. We have forgot that it comes with these flush access ports right here. But uh, Peter already turned it on. So it is heating right now to 190 degrees. And I don't know if you can tell, but you can't hear it at all, which is cool. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, the fact that the Bosch was hitting 199 degrees is supposedly okay because it operates on a differential and it was reading off of that supply sensor, which is too far from the uh, actual where it needs to be. And it did get fixed with moving that sensor. But um, I don't know, it still seems out to me, but it's working as it's supposed to, and all the temperatures um, are s apparently where they're supposed to be. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Miles. Turn uh, left onto Bill Road. In my opinion, I hate Bosch, but uh, I haven't really had the opportunity to work on very many of them. Only I made repairs on two Bosch boilers so far now, and one of them took uh, I think a week just to get the part. I forget, but yeah, I don't like them. If you enjoyed watching the video, like it, uh, comment anything, any advice or criticisms or feedback, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.